buongiorno from Rome, Italy. In our last video, we traveled from Jordan to Italy after a crazy week of exploring the entire country. And today we are going to be exploring as much as we can right here in ancient Rome, starting with our fifth world wonder. Did you just see it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you just walk out of the metro station. And it's right there. <laughs> and it's massive. It's so weird to see it on just like a bustling street here in the middle of Italy. You can enter from everywhere. Entrance now, but there used to be 80 gates that you could enter, and 50,000 people could stream into the Colosseum in 15 minutes. Holy cow! Is that crazy? That's insane. And thank you. I was booking tickets last night and it was kind of confusing because you have to make reservations, but there were so many different options. And everyone said, don't buy tickets there because you might not get a time slot and the lines can be hours long. Luckily today, it doesn't seem like too many people are here, but I booked our tickets online for only 18 euro per person, which is like the cheapest I found. And we got an early time slot, very last minute. <laughs> to enter? With ticket and green pass. Okay, I have ticket and a uh, vaccine card. Okay. Thank you. So you have to have a green pass, which is either a vaccine or a PCR test within the last 48 hours in order to enter the Coliseum. Grazie. Grazie. We are inside the Coliseum. That was so fast. That was like two minutes. I think it usually takes longer. <laughs> Our tickets only include access to the first and the second levels. There's five levels total plus the arena, and you can get access to all of those with different kinds of tickets, usually with guided tours though. So we just went with the basic option and we're gonna be doing an audio guide with Rick Steves. The Colosseum was, and still is, colossal. It's the great example of ancient Roman engineering. They also include an audio guide with our ticket on the Parco Colosseo app. interesting things we've learned so far is that they actually know how the Colosseum was built. Compared to the other five world wonders that we've been to, plus the Great Pyramids of Giza, they don't know how most of those were built at such scale and so quickly. Obviously they know how Christ the Redeemer was built, but there's so many facts and written history about the Roman times that they know exactly how this was built and it was only built in eight years and it's just incredible. <laughs> Our audio guide is telling us we need to get a view of the arena to hear what's going on next, but literally everybody congregates right here, so we're gonna go walk around and see if we can find a better vantage point with fewer people, if that's possible. We are standing and taking the view in of the arena floor, which is not quite as big as like the standard football or soccer field, but it's close. And it used to be covered with boards and about eight inches of sand. I never fully understood from pictures what I was looking at in the center, but turns out the arena floor is no longer there. What you see below is just the ruins of the ancient locker room where the gladiators prepared for battle. And the battles took place between animals, humans and animals, and between the gladiators themselves. In fact, there's 80 points on the field where they had elevators that could raise you up into the game. So the elements of surprise was a very real factor in the games. One of the reasons we've made such a push to get to as many world wonders as we can this year 
is because you're not gonna see them like this again. It may feel sort of busy, but it's because we don't have perspective what the Coliseum looked like pre-COVID. It is pretty much empty, and that's been the case for almost every World Wonder we have seen in the last year. Chichen Itza, Petra, Machu Picchu, Chrysler Beamer, and now the Coliseum. When we come back to these places one day, we will probably look back on it and laugh at just how lucky we were to see it this way. about visiting all ancient sites is when you're able to picture what it used to look like. More often than not, it looks nothing like it used to. Like the pyramids of Giza were covered in a limestone and completely white. And the same thing is the case here, but it was covered in marble. And each of the seats on the lower levels had the names carved in on who was to sit there. So fancy. <laughs> It's already been two and a half hours since we got here and most people say you can do this in around an hour. All the audio guides and guided tours are about 30 to an hour and 30. But we have lots more to see today so we are gonna head out and this is our last world wonder for a while. We tried to see as many as we could during 2020, 2021 and there's two left on our list but we'll have to wait until both China and India open up their borders. Oh my goodness, we found our way up to where everybody takes the pictures on the ledges. It's craziness up here. Every ticket to the Colosseum includes access to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill, which are located just a few steps outside of the Colosseum. You can actually go two separate days. So if you want to go to the Colosseum one day and then Roman Forum the next day, you can do that. Guys, your tickets, please. Yes. You have it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do Green Pass ready to one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, great. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank Bye. you. The Roman Forum is the center of ancient Rome and there's tons of ruins and things to see here. The main ones are the Triumphant Arches and the Palatine Hill. Someone said that I could spend a whole afternoon here and they recommend two to three hours. We have a lot to do today, so we're gonna try and get through as fast as we can. <laughs> coolest parts about the Roman Forum is you don't just get to see ruins or ancient buildings, you actually get to walk ancient Roman streets and be in the exact spot that people were thousands of years ago. It's a huge, huge area with tons of buildings and streets and arches and really pretty gardens and it's beautiful. <laughs> The views are simply remarkable. And I think we're coming up on one of the better ones, definitely the more popular ones. Food. It's already 1.30 p.m. and we haven't eaten anything today. It's starting to get a little hungry. We just grabbed lunch really quick at a really touristy spot, but I was very hungry so we had to stop but now we're gonna get a little pick-me-up in Italian coffee which is basically just espresso and you have to eat it at eat it you say that you have to drink it at the counter otherwise it's more expensive if you take it out and it's like against the culture so we're gonna try to do our best normally we're used to the massive coffees that we drink in America so a tiny little espresso shot should be good to get us back up and moving because we have three more stops before nightfall we have an hour and a half <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
us to order cappuccinos after breakfast, so we just got one shot of espresso each. It's super strong. We have to drink it at the bar. So crowded and loud and crazy. <laughs> That was fast. <laughs> now time for gelato. It's our first one, I'm so excited. Yay, our first gelatos. And it's not too hot, so it's not gonna melt right away. Cheers. Oh, it's so creamy and delicious. I'm so happy right now. Ooh, hazelnut's good. Mm. Pantheon, free to get in, evidenced by the massive line. We simply don't have the time to wait, even though it seems like it's moving pretty fast. We're on to one of two of our last stops. These tiny cobblestone streets are my favorite. We're about to go to the Trevi Fountain, which uh, Nate was so kind enough to watch the Lizzie McGuire with movie with me the other night. Oh. Ah! Because I wanted to watch it because it's based in Rome. That was like my favorite movie as a kid. But now we're here, Trevi Fountain. It's in the movie like four times. It was just built into the building. I also didn't realize there's such a tiny little plaza. Oh, you can't even go down to it anymore. That's so sad. This is crazy. actually made it to the front pretty quickly, but you still can't go down to the water. Can I throw a coin from here? Is that Someone a lot? Well, they did. Again. Look at how many missed. Oh, their wishes aren't coming true. We can't get next to the fountain, but we're still gonna try to make a wish and get a coin in. The percentage rate of success is pretty low from what we've seen so far. Look at all those dead wishes. The story goes, if you make a wish and you throw it over your left shoulder, into the fountain, your wish will come true, and you'll guaranteed come back to Rome one day. Ooh, Which I'm like okay that. with. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. You made it. <laughs> Did I close my eyes? Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh. How did you miss? You freaking missed. I chucked mine so hard. No, no, no. This one, okay. I'm not throwing $2 in there. <laughs> Especially after that first shot. Except the money does go to charity. Oh, that's cool. I missed again. One more. Are you doing it on purpose? No, it's because I have the backpack. This one? It's not because you have the backpack. I have a camera on. I made it. This Ready? embarrassing. Ready? I think you made it. Yes. <laughs> I forgot to make a wish. I was so focused on the shot. I made it afterwards. Hopefully it still happens. Trevi Fountain, absolutely bonkers. One more stop. Neat Bray Love, she's walking down the streets and just like pops up the water to drink it. So I'm gonna try. It might be a disaster. That's why I waited until it's nice and quiet here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I can't do it with my hair. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> We 
We made it to the top of the Spanish Steps and probably one of the better places to see sunset when you're in Rome if you can find a way to seek a spot at the Overlook Point, which Alicia's done. So I think it's fitting that we just chill for a second and watch this beautiful sunset. We are on the hunt for dinner as we speak, but it looks like there is a tremendous amount of competition out here right now. So I hope we can find a nice place with a seat outside. So pretty at night. So pretty. We're gonna make this a quick stop because it's crazy over here. We're both hungry and we need a drink. We made it up here. I have no idea how. Actually, I do. Alicia just kept taking pictures for people and eventually we were able to switch out with somebody. That's the key to get up front. Good travel karma. Yes, good travel <laughs> karma. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful though. It's worth the all this. Yeah, it really is. If only for a moment, it's worth it. It's so pretty. Oh. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go eat. I'm so excited. Wild. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up? Okay. I love sitting outside on these cobblestone streets. It's my favorite thing in Europe. Oh, I love it so much. It's a reasonable question to ask, how did we pick this place? And we just wanted to get out of the crowd. So they had a table. We needed out of the crowd. Perfect. I'm sure the food is just fine. Starting with an aperitivo, my favorite Aperol spritz. When in Rome. <laughs> She's so excited to say that. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, baby. It's a great day in Rome. I love it here. Oh my god. We got grandmother's meatballs for our appetizer. They smell so good. Fun fact, they're actually called like meatballs de nona. N-O-N-N-A, -N -N which is what we used to call my grandmother on my mom's side, and now we call her Nani, N-O-N-N-I-E, because when we were kids we didn't know how to pronounce it, and so we've just stuck with Nani ever since. She is full Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, man. Here you go, hit it. <laughs> smash, go. smash, smash, smash that like button. Yes. Thank you guys. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next video. We have a cool adventure where we're going to a. Man, I've become such a fact master. I need to go on Jeopardy. You should. <laughs> Since we've now been to five of the seven world wonders, six plus the pyramids, right? <laughs> and a One of the most interesting. <sighs> and then, of course, between the gladiators. After a crazy week of. Watch out. Dang it, my point is valid. <laughs> I get the euro, I get the dinar. No, you take the dinar. Or you take the euro. Why? Because I, I want your wish to come true before mine. Okay. That's romantic. Why didn't you say anything? 